takers in the history of the GT20. And remember, the Surrey Jaguars have had one game called, hasn't had a real chance yet. How many can he pick up today to get the Jaguars on the board? And took off right away. Good communication between Arman and Monroe. Oh, it's the wrong end. It wasn't really that well picked, you have to say, by Arman. It only takes a couple of overs, Alex, and all of a sudden, once it reaches double figures, then it's very hard to control. You have to get a partnership developed. 14 from 13 so far between these two. Eight. Needs to finish it off. This last delivery is crucial. Oh, there's no pace on that. A little bit of turn. Three from the over. A good one to start for the leg spin up. 41 for three. In this scenario, good work of his own bowling. Nala Bryan's alongside me. Nala, welcome. Thank you very much, Hazy. Great to be here. Game nicely poised. Sandeep Lamachane, wonderful bowler from Nepal. He's had a good tournament. He has a good history in the GT20. He's been bowling well for Nepal recently as well. Yeah, played in the, uh, the first couple of editions. There is an inside edge. I certainly heard a noise myself through the stump mics, and by the looks of Lamachane, so did he. Well, keeper into the comms box, and I'm sure Linton Das has done a wonderful job behind the pegs here. Lovely, leggy, maybe just flicking the pad. Then it might have been LBW coming back that far. Plenty going on, plenty for the umpire to think about. Linton Das went for the. Uh, Core behind LBW is worth a look, that's for sure. That's kept a little bit low, so Lamashani is going to ask a few questions. Yeah, not going to be easy. Against quality spin in the chase. Let's have a look at this. Oh! Definite back padding. Captain Colin Monroe says back pad. Oh, I think that's a great bit of keeping. Superb umpire. Sometimes they don't give the umpires the credit. I think that's a good call. I agree. I agree, 100% from uh, Leslie Reefer Jr. from Barbados. But was it hitting him on the back pad in line? The appeal was, uh, the appeal rather, was for uh, caught behind. Look a bit far away. They want to. Sometimes when you dink it to the 30-yard circle, you'll get to 50 up. In line with that off stump. No, outside. Catch it. Let's pick that up. And he's hit it a long way. That's great connection. That is a terrific shot for Munro. Only very flat into the surface. This time it goes a little bit fuller. And Munro says, yes, that's the ball I'll be waiting for. Left-hander against leg spin, slog sweep. Going the other side now. That is outstanding connection. That is magnificent work. Back to that boundaries. The first one was a maximum. Second one, four. Ten off the last. Taken. Good catch. His second catch. Lamachani strikes again. He's creeping up to the highest wicket taker in the career of the GT20. Lamachani going against the spin. Taking on the sizable boundary. It's Shatinder Singh who's out in the deep. The Oman opening batter. Customary shades, customary celebration. A la Shikha Darwan. Big, big wicket. Sandeep once again strikes as he so often does. Leg spin v leg spin. 16 wickets now for Lamachani in his career in the GT20. Yeah, leg spinner. Beautiful scene presentation. Toe of the bat. He knows right there, he hasn't got anywhere near the middle of the blade. Simply pouched. Good character. Well, got a bit of flair about him. Always good to see that. Second catch that he's taken. Remarkable difference in stats for Sandy. Right hand versus left hand in this tournament. Oh, he's got him! That is a beautiful...
penalty. What a magnificent delivery that is. Outstanding from Lamatani. He's got rid of the dangerous Munro. Well, back to back wickets. Sandy, your go to gun leg spinner. Your match winner. This is a wonderful bit of leg spin bowling. The matchup says Munro should take the leggy down. He pushes it through. Lovely turn. Munro absolutely beaten. All ends up. Sandy turns this game on its head. Wickets versus three at the same time. Jake was to take a nice little leap on this game now. With that dismissal of Munro, he is key. Two wickets in the over. Yeah! The first man slot sweep, toe of the bat. Easily pouched in the deep by Jatinda. Then the big one, the big fish, Munro oh! beats it. Doesn't for the length, really. Pushes it through, Munro. A little bit of a nod of appreciation as well. Ball through the gates. Eight times this year he's been beaten by Legspin. That was great to see for Munro. Just a shrug of the shoulders as well, just acknowledging the delivery. Oh, reaching for that, Afridi. He's got it away, finds the sweeper. 11 gone, three off the over, two wickets as well, 74 for five. Jay Smith, they'll probably see it differently. Two powerful strikers who are, like a put back to bowling option of Spencer Johnson back into the attack. So it's an interesting call. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Maybe they want to keep him for later, but still, when you've got a couple of wickets in the previous over, why not give him another one, take another wicket or two and kill the game? His leg spin, Afridi and JJ Smith would have attacked him. They wouldn't have sat back and said, Listen, we'll have a look for four or five balls and take a single. So there would have been the opportunity from the batting side to take Afridi. How they take this innings forward. It was a good over the previous one. Right here, this six balls. Oh, he's just stopping at the very end. Didn't get his run up right on that occasion, Sandeep Lamishan. Got a smile on his face as well. He's been excellent in this series so far in GD20. Lovely length. Lovely length. He knows he can't go full against Afridi. Very smart. Yeah, good bowling, good keeping as well. It's on Das behind the pegs. This ball doesn't bounce a great deal. Keeper does really well. Yeah, you would know that. <laughs> Reverse sweep comes in. You don't often see Shahid Afridi playing that. Well, for a man who's batting, as you mentioned, with one leg, the previous over, he charged down the wicket, leg side. Dead. Now he goes over cover. And he might pick up a couple of runs if he can just... Yeah, it's, it's a struggle for him. It's really, really strong. Shahid Afridi managed to get to the striker's end. He had to walk the second. Well, Sandy tosses that one up a little bit more. It was there to hit for Shai to freely be disappointed. First ball that's really been in his arc. Yeah, they are not bowling anything close to his slot here, are they? Again, stepping out and flicking. It's a half full, half flick. Kind of a shot from Shai to Freedy. He's not going to go for a second anymore. Well, JJ Smith has to take over. Good ball, good ball, Lamy. Nicely bowled. Single to long on. Yeah, it's good bowling. Sandy showing experience, but the batting from me, JJ Smith had to take a bit of a, a gamble there, had to take a risk to try and get a boundary. You can just sense something happening here. Wicket, maybe. We'll finish off with the dot and Shahid Afridi not happy raising his hands for a wide he's not going to get it after 15.99 for six nationals